Growing up, we never envisioned having to stand up and speak for the land, the air, the water, and the sacred. But today, we have to. And what we're finding, just like Mother Earth is being fractured, the communities are being fractured. The families are fractured. We have grandmas. Their homes are right next, 330 feet away from some of these fracking sites. Federal law regulations supposed to be 600 feet, but they're given waivers. Oil companies are drawing fresh, precious water out of the aquifer to go pipe it to the fracking operations. Homes near this pipeline did not have access to that water. The resource management plan had been adopted in 2003. That plan went back and forth on Highway 550. It never stopped here for the community to have input. What the chapter officials got here was a Dear Tribal Leader letter. And I'm sure all the other Pueblo governors got that same letter. It's amazing. We're all in this work protect the greater Chaco landscape. Yes, the historical park is there, but there are other great houses. There are other sacred places all through the area. This whole Southwest is sacred. Thank you for your kind heart. Thank you for your strong spirit and your mental toughness to stand up to what we're facing across the United States. We never envisioned we would reach across to the Lummi, to the folks supporting Bears Ears, to the Standing Rock folks. The work that we started here, we want it to impact policy. This moment is proof that collective power can create and nurture ceremonial action. A lot of people ask us, how do we get involved in this work? How did you start activism? It's not activism. It's life work. If the land can heal, the people heal. We, as Native people across this vast land, are standing in unity. What are we going to leave behind for our children? When the time comes down to where we're long gone in dust, what kind of baton are we going to pass down to them?